I believe the biggest weakness of the original Avengers movie in 2012 was too much nonstop action. I mean 143 minutes of it. And for the first 20 minutes or so of the new movie, I thought the creative brains might be making the same mistake again. Then surprise. There was time for introspection, soul-searching, and an examination of the ethical issues posed by artificial intelligence. After an epic battle that begins 30 seconds into the movie, the heroes from Marvel Comics long for a day when they can take a break, maybe for good. To free them up, Tony Stark dreams of creating an artificial replacement by fusing a software consciousness with a mechanical body, like his Iron Man suit. Stark only tells one friend because he doesn't want to hear what he calls the man was not meant to meddle medley. As you've probably guessed, those are fatal words in a movie like this. No, Stark doesn't die, but other people do when his dream comes to fruition too early. Ultron turns out to be a nightmare who believes peace will only come to Earth when the Avengers and the rest of mankind are dead. Did I mention this automaton has a god complex? We see him announcing his plans seated at the center of a dilapidated house of worship. And Ultron steals the line, Upon this rock I will build my church. For him, this has nothing to do with St. Peter or his confession of faith. Ultron's rock is vibranium, the super-strong metal used to construct Captain America's shield and the perfect material for a robot body. In the real world, artificial intelligence is getting smarter every day, and the related discipline of transhumanism has the goal of evolving men into gods. So the movie is tapping into a subject that renowned scientists are currently investigating. There are several surprises I can tell you about if I don't go into great detail. Someone other than Thor is finally able to pick up his hammer. A love interest soothes the Hulk by holding his hand and looking into his eyes. And the star of an eight-episode Marvel Comics TV series that ran last winter returns for a cameo appearance. You won't be surprised by another cameo appearance, the one by Stan Lee, creator of comic book superheroes. He does this in every Marvel movie. Avengers The Age of Ultron ends with some of the heroes going their separate ways. But don't expect the franchise to stop with this movie. If you wait through the end of the first set of closing credits, after some people have already left the theater, you'll see the 10-second scene that will remove any doubt. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website. Wait till you hear this.com.